Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws of Podiatry. The million dollar question. Dr. Wagner, can you cure my fungus on my toenails? You know, the word cure, and I'm, again, this is, you know, when we talk about protocols, um, after, after so many years, right, in uh, treating toenail fungus, um, the word cure does not exist in our dictionary, okay? I like to use the word manage. Um, it's hard for me to use the word cure. There's no such thing. You know, the nice thing about about the protocol that, that we have established is that it's it's effective. You know, we, we have the good fortune of having all the tools in the toolbox to be able to manage, not cure this problem. Um, Let's talk a little bit about the protocol. Obviously, we're not going to really talk about, you know, the, uh, you know, the the variables of how long has the fungus been there, right? Someone that may, you know, present with the discoloration of the toenails for maybe, you know, a couple of weeks, months, versus someone that you know presents with these incredibly dystrophic, discolored, right? You know, uh, ram's horn uh, toenail uh, toenails that have been present for let's say 20 years plus. So there are, we're not gonna really talk about those variables, uh, which do have a, a, a direct and profound impact in the treatment plan. So the first thing that I like to do uh, when I see a new patient, for example, that comes in with toenail fungus is identify the problem. We always talk about that. And the way that we do that is by, you know, taking a little, we harvest a little piece of the nail and we send it to the laboratory to make sure that it is what it is. Okay, that's the first part. And in this particular you know, uh, patient, he's a young patient who has been battling this for quite some time. Um, and, and that's exactly the, you know, that's exactly what we, what we first did. We came in today, we reviewed the report of the, uh, of the, of the specimen, right? The nail uh, of the biopsy report and it revealed onychomycosis, AKA toenail fungus. Um, we also spoke about everything else um, topical oral the path former which we have spoken about in the past and i will just refresh everyone's memory the path former uh, the robotic micro drill and last but not least the, uh, the laser and then uh you know of course uh, the fungal eradication kit basically includes the uh the antifungal spray and everything else so it's very simple What's my protocol? You take everything, right? The entire toolbox and just use it. And that's exactly what this patient has chosen. You know, I totally understand there are some, um, there are some cases where uh, the, you know, there are some drug to drug interactions between the terbinafine, the lamisole, even though there are other anti, you know, oral antifungal uh, medications out there, uh, myself, I like to use terbinafine, uh, the you know, Lamisil. It's very, very effective. So basically, uh, you know, this patient has has chosen to to invest in the entire toolbox. So today, uh, you know, we started, and I'm going to show you guys now uh, the path former. Okay, let me just grab it here. Um, basically, the path former is a, is a robotic micro drill. Let's see if you guys can see that little drill there. And what we're be basically doing is we're just creating these tiny little, you know, microscopic little holes in the nail plate. And the purpose uh, uh, in doing so is to allow the topical medication to actually seep into the nail plate. Number one. Uh, next week, the patient will come back. We'll go ahead and do the laser. That's number two. Uh, number three, he will leave with a fungal eradication kit. Number four, um, he'll have the topical medication, uh, the topical antifungal to apply to the nail plates. In this particular case, he only has four nails that are affected, uh, both great toes and both fifth toes. Uh, and then, of course, he already has, he has brought in with his... Uh, 
uh, with him today the the report of the liver function tests which is which is really important because if we're going to commence the short pulse dose course of the oral terbinafin instead of ordering 30 pills or 60 pills or 90 pills or 120 pills of the terbinafin i personally like to just do a, what we call a pulse dose 10 pills that's it the medication is strong enough and you know historically speaking uh, we have seen that even with you know only 10 pills we have seen clinical improvement remember not cure management very important so we you know we uh, addressed uh, the liver function tests everything looks uh, great so we're gonna go ahead and order the terbinafine okay so um, let's take a look at the right great toe here you know there's a um, onychodystrophy there's subungal debris underneath um, you know it's uh, discolored same thing here it's thick discolored there's subungal debris underneath um, spared 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 you know these are you know and why great question so regardless when even when the patient takes the terbinafine the terbinafine is systemic so it works everywhere to all the nails so we have already performed the path former and I'll go ahead and just you know show you guys how it works um, we already uh, drilled the the fifth so you know take a look at here right we only we only drill the affected portion of the nail and I think you'll appreciate more let's take a look at the left right see it's a it's a in a in a grid like fashion that's what we do and uh, let's go ahead and so what we basically do and I'll just you know show you here Right, still portion, and we basically and that's basically how how the the path former works. Again, my job is to to try to make it better the clinical presentation how do we define success if i can if i can make the clinical pres, uh, presentation 40 50 60 70 80% better that's how we define success and we we can actually come from the front here a little bit you see that you have to be very very careful right Again, this is a little, this is a little drill that we use. We're the only office in the state of Florida that has this uh, advanced uh, treatment, the path form. But you know, I think that what's what's truly relevant here, and I think it's it's, I think the word on the street is, you know, cure. Again, that word does not exist in our vocabulary here, management. So, you know, and again, we're not gonna talk about the other variables that may contribute or may have a contributory effect on, on obviously how well, you know, the patient will respond to all these treatments. I think this is a, a, a great, great video for a lot of reasons because it's just not that simple. I used to say there are three guarantees in life, two, and then three. One, death, two, taxes. And I think I've added number three, fungus. Guarantees in life. I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I'm hoping, you know, I was probably thinking that you know, there, that you guys think that there's a secret sauce, and there is none. Whoever tells anyone out there that there's a cure, maybe there's a temporary 
it doesn't mean that the fungus will or can't come back. There's always a possibility. In this particular case, we live in Miami. It's hot. It's humid. Fungus does thrive and it survives. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. For all the non-subscribers, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Make sure that your notification buttons are on, very important. We will continue to upload videos um, on a daily basis. And uh, please, you know, comments, questions, that's what we're here for, to continue to educate the world one toe at a time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.